Alright guys, so this is video number two of gold trading. We're going to go over some of the trades we took during the US session open today uh, and throughout the US session on gold. And we're going to go ahead and take a look at the actual structure on gold that formulates. And the reason that we're doing this is not only so everybody watching can get a good idea of what you're looking for in trading, but also so you can get a better understanding of what you have to identify before you decide to even jump into stock markets. Um, so again, we're going to look at here what we were looking at. When we opened, we opened somewhere right around, I'd say about 4.30 our time because we are in Hawaii. So 4.30 a.m. is going to be the time that we open. And you can see if you zoom out of this uh, range bar chart, the market's within a pretty strong uptrend. All right, so you have some resistance coming over here uh, and then it moves up. And then you got some support coming right in here and then we make another push higher and again this becomes the support area and then we push higher so we weren't actually looking for anything too far uh, when it came back down you could have maybe tried to gauge a level to buy right around here at this uh, impulse to push higher but we waited for the market to push up came back down pushed up higher and we're actually waiting right around here. I'd say this is going to be uh, maybe about another 30, 45 minutes from the open is when we come back to the level of support. But we're going to go over this real quick so you guys understand. When you're identifying mar in markets where to place a trade, you got to understand the pure price action structure of markets. And a lot of people don't teach this, uh, which is very important to know before you decide to try to apply any strategy. Um, you need to know exactly where the market could potentially go based off of how it's creating its structure. All right. So if you zoom out of this chart, you can see a strong structured trend, an uptrend. Right. You identify uptrends based off of higher highs and higher lows. All right. So if you're identifying this, we push up higher, find the level of support, push up higher, find a level of support, push up higher, support, push up higher, support, push up higher, support. Push up higher, support right. This is considered an uptrend, right? The market is continually climbing higher and higher and higher. Higher highs, higher lows, higher highs, higher lows. That is how you gauge an uptrend. Now, how you gauge if the market is going to continue in the uptrend, well, that's a different story. And a lot of people don't teach this correctly, which causes uh, a lot of people who want to trade, it takes them longer if they don't learn this process first and they don't learn how to apply it right so you can see we waited for the push higher and the market to pull back into the structure levels there's two areas that the market can pull back to one being a peak area and the other one being the actual valley or the impulse that the market uh, moved from right so peak area means what was once resistance meaning it peaked up higher say right over here should in turn act as some support all right, so when the market pulls back, this is one of the very first areas it's going to look to try to act as support. Right? It failed to break above that on multiple occasions. It finally did, and then it came back and held that level as support. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, about ten times before continuing higher. And actually, we're coming into the London session soon, uh, which will probably be trading this, but within this actual trend we're still trending upward and how do we know that it's because the market has pulled back as far as this prior peak and resistance and used that resistance as support now if we're looking for the market to go opposite of the trend what we have to identify is the market to break this level right over here if the market comes back to this specific level here and holds that as support it's still within the actual trend direction and still could move higher from there, right? But it's until this level is actually broken that it actually starts to change the sentiment of the market and the market can move in a different direction. Very important to know this before you even look to trade any type of trading pattern, before you look to put on any strategy in the market, because if you can't clearly identify the trend direction and the structure that it's building, then you're going to try to place trades with patterns or with strategies you're going to find yourself being less and less consistent right so it's going to be harder if you're not gauging the actual sentiment of the market the direction of the market and the actual structure so this is why we're doing some structure videos and this will go into risk management 
um, and the psychology behind everything. But this is the basic concepts of structure itself. You're looking to see the trend direction, and from there, you're actually looking for the market to, if it's going to continue in that trend, it's, you're looking for it to hold some support or resistance. All right. So in this case, in the morning session, the U.S. session, we had support held right over here, which we took an entry on gold. Support came back right over here, and support came back right over here. Now, can the can the market move? In between these areas, yes, absolutely. So between 82 to 83 would have been your entry area for gold on a long opportunity to continue in the direction. A long means you're buying at a specific price, saying that the market is going to move higher. And as it continues higher, you obviously will make money from there. But you want to be able to identify these things first before you even try to place the strategy. The strategy is we placed this morning. We were looking to actually buy positions to continue into the next levels of resistance, which would have been right here at about 87. So you can see we took along between 83 and 82, and we took it up to about 87 even um, for the market to give us a couple points on there. All right, so uh, good opportunities of trade, but you got to be able to identify things uh, like this before you place that strategy. Um, and it again, that will help you too to place a specific risk management strategy that you have within markets too. Right, you want to be able to only put on a certain amount of lots. You don't want to go too crazy. Even if you lose a trade, um, this will tie into the psychology behind it. But you're actually supposed to be more focused, especially in the beginning for traders. You want to be more focused on the process versus the actual outcome of the trade. Right. So just because you enter somewhere around 83 and 82 and you get stopped out doesn't mean it's not going to continue in that direction. It just means you have to look for an opportunity after that. You have to gauge the markets. Is it still going to hold that as support? Right? And as the market moves at that specific identified price level, how it's holding that level will confirm whether you should be continuing to buy or you should look for a different type of trade strategy to apply to the market. Right? In this case, holding well, dipped, 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 dipped a little bit lower into about 82-ish and then uh, came right back up held support and pushed higher. So your entry could have been here, your entry could have been somewhere right around here with stops a little bit below and uh, continued that up throughout the day of trading actually because it stayed within this range, right? So during this London session, we'll probably look for a move higher. If we can pull back, hold the support again at 82 to 83, then we can look for a push higher from there, right? So we are continuing in that trend direction and waiting for the strategies to build. but. Again, that is your basic structure that you need to be able to formulate before looking to even place a trade within markets, right? So again, you can see structure holding support here, push up higher, support there, push up higher, support there, push up higher, support there, and push up higher, and then we start to build some structured levels of entry right over here during the open of the U.S. session. So again, that will close up our video number two of gold trading structure. This is what we did today on gold. And that is also the basics of what you want to be able to identify. We'll go over this a couple videos and then we'll move over into applying patterns to trading, applying different strategies and actually looking to trade markets based off of your strategies and processes versus focusing on the outcome. Uh, if you